Hello then guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope this finds you all well. The final episode then of our FM21 B to save with Valencia. The form has meant we have an outside chance of winning the La Liga title. Two massive games on today's episode and fingers crossed we can get it over the line. As always, if you have liked the series or even if you just like today's episode, then please leave a like down below for me. Subscribe to the channel for more Football Manager content. And let's get stuck into the final episode of Valencia. Hello and welcome to episode 9 of my FM21 B to save with Valencia. I'm Ben and coming up on today's episode we face 4th place Barcelona and 1st place Atletico Madrid in our attempt to sneakily win the La Liga title. And the reason I say sneakily win is because our recent form since the last episode has been in and out. We've had one draw with Sevilla. We then lost to Atletico Bilbao. We thrashed Getafe 5-1 and then a really frustrating 0-0 draw with Villarreal. And all that means that we currently sit third in La Liga. Five points behind Atletico Madrid and four points behind Real Madrid who have played one more game than us. We are therefore praying that teams above us drop points. Barcelona are well held down in fourth. Six points behind us. But we want there to be something to play for in that Atletico Madrid game. And as I say, we need to beat Barcelona and results elsewhere go our way. And the team that we're going to look to do it with is slightly rotated due to fitness and also due to a couple of suspensions. So it's not going to be easy, but Silicon is in goal. It's a back for Regea, Paulista, Mangala and Correa. Musa and Soler pair up in the middle. Vinicius Jr. on the left. Guedes on the right. The first game that they're both back in a while. And Kevin Gamero is in behind. Maxi Gomez up front. And there are some players that it is likely they will be subbed off just after the half time, someone like Jose Gea, who is in need of a rest, but he cannot miss this massive, massive game against Barcelona. A must win if we are going to be winning La Liga this year. Our recent form suggests that we're not quite going to be able to do so, but you never, ever know in this game. And here we go. Our penultimate game then as Valencia manager. It has been one hell of a one season ride in the FM21 beta. Obviously we're going to be moving on to the main save as of tomorrow. Those of you that follow me on Twitter will have already seen a teaser for that one. Those of you that don't follow me on Twitter, please feel free to do so at Benny D underscore FM. And hopefully you can all join in with a little poll that's currently probably finishing now actually now I say that but you can see the poll that we have been running towards the new series that is beginning tomorrow but the first 11 minutes of this game have been fairly quiet a fairly even game Barca may be bossing proceedings a little bit more only the one shot in the game in total and we need to be doing a little bit more for the remainder of this game if we are still going to be in with a chance on that last day of winning La Liga. Of course, we also need a big upset for Atletico Madrid. We need them to lose. And then obviously if we beat them, we'll definitely finish above them. I think it's on goal difference, if I'm being honest. And obviously we need Real Madrid to lose as well. It's a really, really tough ask. But you never know. You never know. Stranger things have happened in Football Manager. I feel like we've played well enough to deserve a La Liga title. The fact that if we don't grab it, we would have gone trophyless throughout the whole season is a bit of an annoyance. But we've certainly done a lot, lot better than the Valencia board were expecting us to do at the start of the season. We've qualified for the Champions League and we are still in the hunt with two games to go of a La Liga trophy. However, based on this first half, the fact that we've had no shots means we're not going to be winning this game. But this could be our first chance. Maxi Gomez, back to Jose Gea, who's going to go for a little mazy run down the left. Instead, he finds Junior. He looks for Dest and it's cut out and back to Testagen, who hoofs the ball forward to Coutinho, to Iliax Mariba. Griezmann, 
Pjanic, he's found Petri. He's going to be in and shooting Sillison with a good save. He held on to the ball as well. But it is just another Barcelona effort in the game. And still no shots for the Valencia boys. Here's one coming here. Gea with the ball in. It's too easy for De Stegen to come and grab in goal. And now a chance for him to send Barcelona on their way quickly. But Correa steps in really well. Pique does the same for them. And it is the one man you don't want on the ball. Messi finds Des. Finds Pedri. This has got to be a goal. Oh, he's missed. How has Sillison saved that? It's an unbelievable save. What a fantastically well-worked move, to be fair, from Barcelona. Sillison, though, with an awesome save to keep us in the game. But based on this first 35 minutes, we have absolutely no chance of winning this game because we are yet to register a shot on the Barcelona goal. As I say it, our first shot goes on target. It was obviously nothing special, seeing we haven't seen it. Oh, we really need a win and we're not going out there and attacking like we have done. We beat Barcelona 5-1 a couple of episodes ago, but now, I mean, look at these three. Those three were struggling coming in. They're dying out there. They're going to have to keep dying in the Valencia shirt for a little while longer. As half-time comes, it is Barcelona nil, Valencia nil, but we've been absolutely shocking and... We're going to let the boys know that. We're not happy with the performance out there. Go and show me something else in this second half. Go and attack Barcelona. We can't afford anything but a win. And can the boys go out and do it for us in what would be a really good win as well. Even if we don't win this league, but we can end on a high with wins over Barcelona and Atletico Madrid, I will be happy. But as I say that, Barcelona are coming again through Sergio Dest on this right-hand side. Griezmann's there. Oh, no, it's not. Sillison, rather, beats him to it. Griezmann looked like he was going to have an easy header into the goal. Sillison hoofs clear. I don't know what he's trying to do, but it's fallen back again to Barcelona. Long lay to Coutinho. Coutinho to Pjanic. Pjanic to Pedri. This is going to be beautifully worked out to Messi. And he's going to try and win a penalty, I would have thought. He's found Griezmann, who should have really scored. And we are still somehow level in this game. Despite the fact we have been pretty dreadful. Especially going forward. Sillison just hoofing the ball away there. And what are we going to be able to do in this game? We're going to berate the boys, I think. We've not been good enough at all. And somehow, we are only still at nil-nil. And therefore, even if we grab one goal, we may have a chance of winning La Liga, dependent on how results go elsewhere. I'm also looking here, and there is the potential that in about 10 or so minutes, I will be making a triple substitution. Whether that will make a difference or not, I don't know. Two of our best players, Gea and Soler, will be exiting the parade. Oh, just any chances will do. Two shots is all we've had. I feel like this isn't going to go our way today. And we're not putting out the strongest performance that we've seen from the Valencia boys on this series. But you never know. And with half an hour to go, there is a highlight coming. And Thierry finds Gamero. Back to Correa. Into Musa. Is this going to be the first highlight that's in our favour? No, because that is absolutely dreadful. And Pjanic has found Braithwaite. I mean, if he scores, it just gets embarrassing. Braithwaite runs forward. Beats one, beats two. Can't beat Sillison in the goal, though. And I think a sign that Musa may be a bit too tired to continue. And it is time for the triple change. Jose Gea to come off. And it's Tony Lato who will come on. Musa is going to come off for Jack Wilshire. A rare appearance for him in a Valencia shirt. And then Soler is going to come off for Ulos Lachic. And you never know. It may be the changes that we needed. Musa, obviously, we just saw giving the ball away rather poorly. And we have just under half an hour to see if we can grab this winning goal in the game but looking at these stats we're nowhere near good enough today Barcelona themselves haven't been on the greatest run of form hence why they're a bit distant down in fourth obviously for a long long time they were the closest rivals to us but it's all changed the title looks destined to be heading to Madrid it's whether it's going to fall into Atletico or Real's hands and if not if we score there's still a chance it may well come back to the Mestalla for Valencia but at the moment Valencia scoring a goal in this game 
is looking highly, highly unlikely. And again, we're going to demand a little more, but look at Guedes, Julio and Gamero are now struggling for fitness as well. Just a big run of fixtures in a small period of time. Missing Junior and Guedes as well. Gamero's not scored in nine hours of football or something along those lines. It just got tough for us at the wrong time in the season. And it looks like it's got too tough for us. As Pjanic is over a free kick. The ball comes in. It's to Ansu Fati at the back post. He's put the ball into the back of the net. And I believe that that now is our La Liga title challenge over we've not been good enough when it's counted Pjanic with the ball to the back post Fatty can easily head home unmarked with a free header his seventh goal of the season I mean we're gonna have to go very attacking we're gonna berate the boys this performance has been nowhere near the standard that we needed to win this game and we are deservedly behind against Barcelona and I'm slightly dreading what might be to come at the Atletico Madrid game Oh, we're just going to miss out by a whisker. 21 games unbeaten to start the La Liga season. It's dropped off a cliff since then. The second half of the season we have lost, I think it would now be six games. And that has meant that we are not going to be La Liga champions this year. We gave it our best effort in the season that we've had on the beta. We've at least made the Champions League spaces for Valencia. But it feels a bit of a shame that we couldn't go one step further. We obviously do still have a part to play in the title race. If we can beat Atletico Madrid, it probably means that they won't win the league. So maybe that is a little bit of motivation for us. But it is a real shame that we are not going to be involved in that title race ourselves. And actually, a win against Atletico Madrid will mean we hold on to third spot. That game now becomes a little bit more important for different reasons. But this game, since I've gone very attacking, as is common with Football Manager, has just dwindled out. It is full-time. Barcelona, by far, the better team. And it means that our La Liga title race is over. But that doesn't mean I'm not going to show you Atletico Madrid. I will see you for that one in a second. Here we go then, our final game as Valencia manager. And as it turns out, it would have never been a title clash anyway because Atletico Madrid have already won the league. So this is now for pride and also potentially for third place. And our final starting eleven as Ro uh, Valencia manager is this one. Then it's Silicon in goal, a back for Olato, Diacabi, Mangala and Vass. Musa and Soler in the middle with Vinicius Jr. on the left, Jason on the right and Gamero and Maxi Gomez are up front can we beat the champions can we end on a high and forget about the fact that we've probably bottled the league ever so slightly um let's give the fans something to go home cheering about to finish our season as always we have faith in the boys to go out there and make the difference the assistant is going to be off to the tunnel and here we go our final game as Valencia manager it's been one hell of a ride during the FM 21 beta you never know we may come back to them at some point soon but it's time to say goodbye and hopefully say goodbye with a really decent performance like we've seen from these Valencia boys during our tenure there were some awesome awesome results in that first 21 games we went unbeaten unfortunately the next 19 league games or however many 17 in fact haven't been quite as good but can we end with one final hurrah and Solera and Musa are knocking it about between themselves at the back Mangala finds Vass who's got men with him if he wants to try and find a cross he does pick out Solera in the middle Solera looked like he was going to try and shoot but it's instead of falling to Maxi Gomez and he does try and shoot and it just fizzles wide at the post but it's I mean, it's more shots than we saw in the last game. So, fingers crossed, we might well be going at Atletico Madrid a little bit more. Albeit, they're probably a bit hungover from the fact they've been out celebrating their title win. But, you never know what might be able to happen when people are hungover. Sillison with the ball in the goal. Mangala. 
Is he going to be able to find a nice easy pass? He finds Soler. He doesn't. It's an awful ball out. And Correa has got it. And Correa, who's running away from the goal. Mangala steps in. Felix with the goal. It's all Mangala's fault. It was a horrendous ball out from the back. He had so much time to pass it. And he just passed it straight to Lucas Torreira. And what looked like it might have been a positive start now means... How Felix has put Atletico Madrid 1-0 up. Correa with the ball across. Mangala misses it again. It's two poor things from him. And How Felix makes it 1-0 to Atletico Madrid. And we're going to berate the boys because we don't want to finish on a loss. And at the moment, there is one man's fault that we are losing. And that is Alequim Mangala. And that was terrible. I mean, he had so much time at the back to pass it to absolutely anyone. And he passes it straight to Torreira. <sighs> Can we come back though? We want a comeback. Can we end the episode with, uh, end the series rather, and the episode I suppose, it's both, with an unbelievable comeback, a really good game, or is that going to be it now? Have we seen the goal in the game and it's just going to fizzle out to an Atletico Madrid 1-0 win and the potential that we might still finish fourth? And that would be really disappointing. The fact that we're not even going to finish in the top two and have a real, real run at the title race is disappointing. But if we finish fourth, it would probably be even worse. But at the moment, it looks like that potentially is what's going to happen. And we're going to demand more again because this has not been good enough. The fact that we've had most of the possession and yet have only been able to create three shots from it compared to the seven shots that Atletico Madrid have created, it has been a really, really disappointing performance. And it looks like... As I say, we're just not quite going to be good enough against the big boys at the end of the season. Despite the fact that early on in the game, or early on in the season as well, we were really, really competing with the big boys as well. But obviously it's not meant to be. And one minute of added time in this first half, a rather uneventful first half. And it's fizzled out to 1-0 to Atletico Madrid. A Mangala mistake is the reason we are behind. And you know what? We're going to throw a water bottle. We're far from pleased with what we've seen from the team. The water bottle really hasn't worked with the motivation. So it could well get worse in this second half. But at least the boys know that I'm not happy with what they're doing. And Vashalko has found Saul on this right-hand side. He finds Lucas Torreira. And that is a really, really good save from Jasper Sillerson in the goal. As it could well have been 2-0 straight after half-time. It still could be from the corner. Correa with the ball in. Maxi Gomez rises first and is able to head away. But it's only as far as Correa again. Can he do something from deep with the ball? He's running across the pitch as if he's trying to. Torreira. Soler is really unlucky. Saul with the ball now. Torreira. Soler does better again. But he's so unlucky. He keeps winning the ball. And it's back to an Atletico Madrid shirt. It's found its way to Vashalko. He puts the ball across. Vas clears this time. But only as far as Sanchez on the left. But luckily the ball is not coming back our way again. And it is still only 1-0. And there is still a chance of a comeback in this second half. Soler really unlucky twice there. He won the ball a couple of times. And it went straight back to an Atletico Madrid shirt when he did. No one keen enough to gather those second balls. And it looks like no one really keen enough to attack in this Valencia team at the moment. Still only the four shots compared to Atletico Madrid's nine. They're now also starting to take over control of this game. And there is confirmation that Barcelona have scored to put us fourth. And what could be a really, really disappointing finish to the season. Not only have we missed out on a Liga title race that we really, really should have been involved in. We're actually just going to finish a miserly fourth and not finish above of any of the big boys. Right, subs to be made. Lato's coming off. He's playing awful. Jose Gea, who was struggling for a bit of fitness, he can come on. Vinicius Jr. not having his best game and he's also struggling for a bit of fitness. So he'll come off and there's only one man to come on in place of him. And that's Goncalo Guedes. And then the final change is probably going to be Soler, who is also struggling for a bit of fitness. And he will come off. And do you know what? Jack Wilshire, let's give you one last hurrah whilst I'm here as Valencia manager. We're also going to go very attacking because, well, you never know. It might produce a few more shots than we've seen so far. And let's see if we can come back, grab an equaliser and push ourselves back above Barcelona. 
and finish third in this league and finish on a high because at the moment we are finishing on two really disappointing results. In fact, three, the one you didn't see off camera as well against Villarreal. I mean, how we didn't win that game is beyond me. But here we go. Odd Black with the ball forward. And Saul, is, he's won that far too easily. But Diakabi does gather. Sillerson, don't play it to Mangala. He's played it to Mangala. Right, don't do what you did in the first half. He hasn't. He's found Vass. And now we've a chance to build from the back. And they've done it again. Vass this time gives it to Torreira. He finds Saul, who goes past Gaia like he's not even there. Gaia does work his way back in, though. And Sillison gathers well at the front post. They're, I mean, that was a definite cross. They're classing that as a shot from Saul. It was definitely a cross. But again... What is Vass doing? There are simpler options on and he's kicked it straight to Lucas Torreira again. And it's almost a repeat of the first half. Luckily, they haven't scored a corner. Gaia with the ball in. Easily headed away. But can we be first to the second ball? We actually can. Jason, Jose Gaia. It would be apt for him to get an assist after the season he's had, but he's lost the ball. He's won it back. Guedes. He's found Wilshire. No way, is Jack Wilshire going to score? He hasn't. It's only just wide. But what a storyline that would have been if Jack Wilshire scored the equaliser for us. A man who's barely featured due to injury. It would have been his first goal. I'm adamant it would have been his first goal. But he couldn't quite put it in the back of the net. But it's a chance. And we're getting a few more chances. Can we just get the important chance? The equaliser in the game. The aim now is just to simply finish third and finish on a high. Vass with a throw. Jason, back to Vass. He can't quite beat Kondogbia, but he has still got the ball. He's put the ball across. Ah, oh, Guedes couldn't beat his man, but Wilshire is going to be the first to that ball. What pass can he find? It's backwards to Diakabi. To Musa. What a ball to Gonzalo Guedes to Maxi Gomez. We have scored. It is the equaliser we wanted. It's Maxi Gomez's 25th goal of the season. It's assisted by Gonzalo Guedes. And it was all started with a fantastic pass from Musa. What a ball this is to Guedes. Guedes then has the knowledge to square it back to Maxi Gomez. And it is now Valencia 1, Atletico Madrid 1. And we're now going all or nothing. We're staying very attacking. Can we win the game? Gay with the ball in. Guedes with the header. Oh. It was almost the perfect end to the series. It was almost the equal, uh, the second goal. It was almost the winner. Minutes after the equaliser as well. There's still time. There's still time. Vass is on the ball now. He finds Mangala, who instead of finding Torreira like he usually does, has found Musa. Gonzalo Guedes. Can he win something? It's a penalty. It's got to be a penalty. It's not a penalty. And Correa is running clear for Atletico Madrid. Diego Costa is now on the pitch. And he's surging towards our area. It's fallen to Lorente. It's fallen just wide of the post. And that was almost a kick in the teeth in the wrong way. We were almost punished on a counter-attack. It looked like we may have been winning a penalty at one stage. I think that might have just been my wishful thinking to end the series. I mean, four minutes of added time. Is there going to be a late, late twist in this one? There might well be, you know. Correa with the throw to Torreira. He's found Vashalko on the right. It could be going the wrong way. Diakabi clears though. Musa, this is a chance to counter, is it? No, Savage steps in and Torreira is on the ball again. He's put a beautiful pass out to Manu Sanchez. And Vass blocks brilliantly. Can he win the ball back? No. Sanchez to Torreira. Wilshire wins the ball. We're off. Here we go. Is this going to be a late, late winner in the game? Wilshire to Jason. It's end-to-end -end stuff. Musa. He's beaten his man, has he? He's found a lovely ball. Jack Wilshire to Guedes. To Wilshire in the goal! Jack Wilshire has scored his first ever Valencia goal right at the end of the series. And it is a winning goal. And we are going to beat Atletico Madrid in our last game of the series. And wow, what a comeback it's been. Jack Wilshire, of all people... I mean, what a story that is. I know that we're not going to be winning the league or anything along those lines. But we are going to finish third. And we're going to finish third 
Oh, I say that. I was going to say, we're going to finish third with an unbelievable comeback win. But Herrera puts it to Correa. He's got to score. What a save! What a save from Sillison. This is unbelievable. The game's still going vast. Kevin Gamero, we're not going to score a third, surely. Musa, what a ball. That is to Gea. Back across. They've won the header, but Vass is going to gather. Jason. Musa. Ball across. Maxi Gomez. It's in the bar. Oh, it's offside. Oh, it looked like we were potentially going to even score a third and make this series ending episode an even better finish. It's a shame we're not the champions. This would have been an awesome way to win the league. But instead, it's an awesome way to just finish the series and go third. What a game. Gamero. Jason, no way are we going to fizz out another chance here. Jason surging towards the Atletico Madrid area. It's all over. We have won our final home game, our final game of the series. We were dead and buried for about 80 minutes. And we've scored two goals in the last 12 minutes to gain the victory. We finished third. It's been an absolutely awesome time in the FM21 beta as Valencia manager. I hope you have all enjoyed it as much as I have. And that you're all looking forward to the new series that will be here next time. But I hope you have enjoyed today's episode. And if you have, please leave a like down below for me. Subscribe to the channel for more Football Manager videos. And thank you all for coming along and watching.